Hey guys, we we're about to get this big treasure. It looks like it's gonna be, uh... Wait, did it just fade? Are you kidding me? That's one thing I don't really like about... Treasure hunting. Is that it feels like... Oh, god damn. I am gonna get messed up. Well, I'm not gonna get knocked off, so... It feels like so hard to pinpoint where the chest is. I saw someone where they had like a uh, indication. I think it's the mask. Maybe I gotta put the mask on. There's an indication of where... Oh, uh, well, I didn't need that. An indication of where the chest was. When you get close enough, but I didn't see that. Jeez, all this just for 200 rupees? That's a little much. At least I'm not getting knocked off. Um, I feel like some parts in the game when they knock you off the boat, it's a little excessive, but some parts like should you should get knocked off. Like when you get hit by a shark, maybe. But not when um, you're getting hit by a bunch of bombs like that. Alright, let's put this mask on. I want to try it out actually. I want to see if I could see it. And I still don't see it. Yeah. And you have to be kind of close, you know? Like, I don't know how close and precise you have to be, but... You could just be a couple, like, inches off, and that's... <laughs> we just look so stupid with that. And that just turns me off from the whole idea of trying to get the treasure. Okay. No, we're not getting this. We've got... A... Mission to do. And if I get all those, I'll probably max out. I wonder how rich you are in this game if you have this much rupees. Like, there's people in the um, Windfall Island that have, like, they're, you could tell they're rich or they say they're rich, but I wonder how much money they have, how much rupees they have. Just so I know how rich Link is. Well, that's nice. They put at least a circle to tell you. If you've gotten treasure, where you've gotten treasure. I wonder how many circles you could cover the map in. How much treasure can you get in this game? Sounds kind of boring, but it does sound kind of fun. If they could make it a little more easier to get the treasure. What is that? Is that where it's at? It's like a fortress. <laughs> is let of steel? Or is this what does it say? Tell me, small fry. Yeah, we know. It's right there, my young fry. <laughs> On that island, you know, a chart showing you where to find them. Of course, getting it's the hard part. And that's okay. It's not really a piece, it's a, a map. A chart. Do I just bust open the door? Why is it firing in the wrong direction? Let's get this treasure actually. What did he drop?
Just some rupees. Because he looked like a big ship, like a big deal ship. I gotta take that mask off. That looks so stupid. <laughs> okay. Let's take this off. Oh, let's see. This mystical charm is able to see into the enemy's soul. It will reveal an enemy's life. Okay, yeah, that's it. I don't really care for that that much. Oh, here they are. What the hell is a bird doing? Can it hurt me on the boat? That's weird. Man, they're terrible at shooting at me. I'm like right there. <laughs> the coin just flew right into my um right into the boat. What? Oh, I can get in through there. Let's just go. Jeez, that place is, uh, trying to be fortified. I wonder why. Is it to stop me, or is it to stop, like, uh, Ganon or something? Because it feels like it's to stop me. Or maybe to test me. Triforce chart number two. What? Oh, I thought the boat wanted to say something. Got that. Two more. And then we gotta get a piece. It's kind of cool. Um, that little inside. If I could get on top of there. Because it looks like there's some guy up there. I don't know. Probably not. It's probably just for, for looks. For show. the area? I think so. Yeah. Where's that fish? There he is. Sometimes it feels like I'm right at the edge, like I'm gonna go off of the this quadrant of the map. I gotta find beetles soon. Boy, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard you want chart information. Mm. 
Needle Rock Isle. I've seen the boats sailing around here with the real huge cannons. I bet you those things have their hulls packed with treasure. Of course, if you don't have a cannon, of course, or yourself, there's no way you'll ever sink one of them. I mean, I sunk a couple of them. Treasure wasn't that great. Oh, is this another... Oh, okay, good. It's another seagull part. Just what I was hoping for. But I don't have a good amount of arrows. What the hell? Are those barrels with pots on them? Wait, what the hell? What? I want to shoot them, but I don't want to um, use up my arrows. If I could get more arrows, that would be great. Oh, hey, thanks for coming down. A bomb. Arrow? I heard an arrow noise. There it is. Perfect. I feel a lot more better now. Fifteen's okay, I'm out for now. I need to upgrade. Get the uh, big arrows. Big quiver. Damn. I guess I'm gonna be doing some flying with the. Uh... Oh, wait, is this for a bottle? I think this might be for a bottle. Okay, I'm just taking all of these. That's not what I need to do. Um, I think I can get up there. No? Oh. Oh. Surprised I didn't grab onto a ledge. There we go. Oh shit, am I gonna fall? Damn it. Come on. Let's do this. Got him. There we go. Wait, what? What? Can I go over here? Oh, I'm not supposed to, really? Okay.
It does feel like I'm supposed to be up there, though. Because I got up there before, and then it just slid me down. Well, anyways. Is there any other? Oh, there's one right there. Let's see if I could just shoot it. Boom. Oh, there's one more. Is that the last one? <clears throat> nope. There's one. Bam. That was some good aim aiming. I'm never that good. Bottle? No, wait, really? Is that all that's here? That can't be all that's here. You gotta be kidding me. How did I get up there before? Oh, I got up. Okay. Wait. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that is literally just a bunch of nothing here. But it, it kind of mimics the um, the ghost ship's interior. But there's, I don't think there's anything here. Ooh, I got on here. Wait. Wait. Nope, it's cutting me off, isn't it? Wait. Nope. I'm leaving. There's nothing here. It's such a big looking area, but it's completely blocked off. All for a hundred coins. A hundred rupees. Well, we still need to get that chart, so... At least we got all our shit. All our arrows. Okay, what is with these pots? Is that it? They really want you to get money. running I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit any of these I think I'll just have to probably this one no let's just get these seagulls Okay. Oh, I'm already going to attract their attention.
which is not the plan. Oh, god damn. Will they come back to me, though? No? Flying those seagulls is a lot tougher than I remember. Let's get some air first. Let's get as high as we can. How far can you go with the seagull? Alright, just go, go, go. Just hit it. Hit it. Got it. Seagull's probably screwed. Oh. Yeah. That was not fair. <laughs> Fucking ganged up on him. Wait, what? I'm not supposed to... Oh, it's in a ship. That's just what he was telling me about, too. Damn, I did both those things for nothing. Well, I mean, for a heart piece and some rupees. This island didn't have anything on it, though. Well, nothing I need. There's a ship around here. There's a ship around here somewhere. Over there? See a couple over there. Yeah, one of those. I probably have to board it. Yo, what's up? It's probably the one with the uh, Trojan helmet on. I gotta take him out last. Oh, looks like the Trojan actually has good aim. Got me twice. It's messing me up. Just want to take out the other ship, though. I wonder if the ship can get broken. Because I'm not falling out. Just get close. I don't want to... <clears throat> have to go closer to it. There we go. here chilling the whole time wait I didn't wait wait I got I got that chart why isn't it crossed out there was only one wait did I get that too I guess we'll know right yeah we got him All right, let's go to Tingle. He's right, okay. It 
it's tingle time. I think they said it's like 500 each. Oh, hey, look, it's like a um, a constellation, isn't it? It looks like one. I still need one more, though, right? I need to get the ghost ship. I'll look that up, though. I know the um, everything has to be aligned. The moon, the location, maybe. What the hell? I don't remember hearing them say that. I didn't know you could hear noises like grunts. I don't know. He has a cobra on his back? Oh, Mr. Fairy, I've been longing to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play. Hmm. <laughs> that fragrant, musty scent. Sir, you have found a chart. Splendid, splendid. Show me, show me. Why? You can't read that chart in its current state. Impossible, sir. Would you like me to decipher it for 398 rupees? That's not that much. Tingle, tingle, Kalu Limpa, become readable. Would you like me to decipher another chart? Yeah. Tingle, tingle, Kalu Limpa, become readable. What is he doing? Like, is he really deciphering or is he just doing a little dance? <laughs> I don't think he's deciphering anything. <laughs> hmm, Mr. Fairy. You must try very hard to find treasure. When you select and open this chart on the map, the place where the treasure is will shine forth. Then just go to that place and rely on your chart to help you find the treasure. Where's my boat? Okay, so... Before we do that, I want to get the last... Oh! Good. We'll do the pirate ship later. Even later. Where should we go to first? Um, southwest. Is that Great Fish Isle? Oh, it is. I should actually go and feed the fish here. No, we'll do that. Alright. I think we're about to wrap this episode up too. Oh wow, there's a lot of... Uh Flying guys over there. Don't like the look of that. These guys are freaky, actually. I remember they, they were one of the few things to um, scare me. Especially when you get knocked off your boat because of them. And then they just keep coming and they're just... They could easily just eat you whole. Alright, where is the fish? But now I'm not afraid of them because they can't knock me off my boat. 
Nothing can. There's the fish. Yeah, none of this is really a big deal since you can't get knocked off. That was the big problem. <laughs> I feel like they should have added that, or they should have kept that, where you can get knocked off. Just because it made me actually want to fight those things and figure a way around them, instead of just going straight through them, taking the hits. Cyclops Reef. Is there something important here? You've seen those weird rings of light that appear on the seas at night, haven't you? Well, those things are a sure sign that there's treasure in the depths. But let me tell you, there are some lights that don't always shine. There's, a, there's these special ones that shine like crazy, but only when you open a treasure chart. They say that those mark the spot where the greatest treasures are hidden. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to... Okay. He must be talking about this area, though. Alright. Still going... No, wait. We're going west now. Because of the detour. But, um, yeah, we'll get the Triforce Shard in the next part. So, um, for now, we'll just leave it like this and let him sail there. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya. Alright, let's get this piece. Let's get this piece, and I think a couple others. This one... That one, we'll try to get all three in this episode, and then we'll figure out how to get the ghost ship piece later. Hold on, I want to get some water. <clears throat> Make sure uh, my throat isn't dry. Alright, so there's a... We have to open the chart though, don't we? Yeah. Easy peasy. We just gotta... Wait. Okay, we're not even there yet. Ooh, Beetle. I actually want to go there. I want to see him real quick. He probably doesn't get any business over here. <laughs> Let's get more bait. Ooh, a bottle! What the hell? And air- wait, what the hell? If you have anything you want to sell, show it to me. I'll buy it off you. You don't, uh, wait, what? I'm selling the contents, not the jar. Too bad for you, huh? Yeah, that is really annoying. What the hell? You're just gonna pour your contents into my bottle and then keep your bottle. It's a good thing you don't get no business because you don't have anything, <laughs> anything I want. Why would I want a red potion? Oh wait, isn't this a guy I'm supposed to merchant, right? He's a merchant. I'm I'm supposed to give him the uh it's like a Goron. Can't hide those lips. Let's talk to him first. I'm what you call a traveling merchant. Yes, I'm just a cheery fellow 
who bobs between waves in search of all manners, manner of rare items, cracked and pristine, wild and wooly. I came from distant lands because I heard there was a treasure of great worth on this island, but I can't find a thing. I thought perhaps my fate would cross with that most mystic of rare items, the fabled Shop Guru statue. But it seems as though I am off my market again. By the by, for some reason, looking at that delivery bag of yours gives me a sneaking suspicion that it might have some rare treasure hidden in depths. <laughs> There's like a tear in his uh, little fisher's cap. If you have anything even slightly out of the ordinary in there, would you mind trading it to me? Anything at all? This knapsack I'm lugging around is stuffed full of all sorts of wondrous things. Why don't you show me what you got and I'll show you what I'll trade for it. Well, geez, he's just telling me exactly what to do. Huh? That's a town flower, is it not? In that case, would you be so interested in trading it for this sea flower? Sure. Most worthy, then, my fee will be... Well, I suppose 20 rupees will do. Wait, I have to give him money? Thanks. That settles things. I'll give you your item as I promise. Hold out both hands. The scent of the sea wafts from the delicate petals of this flower from an exotic far away land, far off land. Find a place to put it. Choose your delivery bag on the item screen. Okay. Wait, what's going on? So, by trading your goods for my goods, we've formed a merchant's oath. Why am I spinning? As such, from now on, I shall honor our merchant's oath by sending shipments of my product to the Windfall Isle Shop. How, you ask? Why my good pal, the postman, will take it there for me. So it will... I'm getting dizzy. So it will likely get there before you do. Just head back to Windfall and see for yourself. Thanks again. That was weird. I don't know about this whole merchant's oath thing. I'm pretty sure you're still taking some of the profits, right? That you... For the items that you sell. Is it like credit? Or is it like just some trust? Special pact. Alright, we close. Oh. So Ganon came here. <clears throat> tore up this place to look for Jaboon, right? And the Triforce, a piece of the Triforce was right there the whole time. What the fuck? Where'd you come from? Oh, shit. What is going on? Is this a glitch? I'm shooting it. Well, that was... <laughs> that was not what I was trying to do. So they put pots there to block you from getting the actual treasure. That's kind of clever. Right. I want to know what it looks like on the depths of the sea floor. Is there just like a bunch of pots surrounding it? Alright, this is it. You got a Triforce Shard. Now you need only three more. Now we just gotta go south. Or southeast. Yeah, that's more accurate. Is there anything on this island besides that? It's all messed up, but it looks like I could climb it, maybe. Although I doubt it. Wait, what's that? Wait. 
There is stuff I could do up here, isn't there? Let's see if we could climb. Uh, am I stuck? Let's just get out. It feels like I could... Bucket there. Nothing here for me. Nope. Just looks like something. Wait, there's like a that looks like a cave. I wonder what this was before it got messed up. Can't get on there. Yeah, I'm gonna leave. I don't think there's anything you can do here. It's all just for show. Not that I was expecting anything. Let's get out of here. Oh, wait a minute. Is this like a spire? It is. I just looked this up if there's anything to do on here, but I kind of want to find out for myself. Oh, you're just up here. Well, I clearly don't care about you. <laughs> I don't want to do that quest. I feel like I could fly all the way there and try and fly into that cave. But I don't know if I could swim back to the ship. Yeah, let's do it. It's a little stupid, but... I don't just want to leave it. Try and fly into the. Right here. <gasps> what the fuck? That really fuck it. That surprised me. Almost like scared because there's actually something in there. Okay, I guess. Whatever. That was cool. And I'm guessing that's it. Yep. But now getting back... Will it be possible? Yep. Can we get back? I also wanted to go on top of here too, but... I honestly don't think there's anything up there. I think I did exactly what it wanted me to do. Let's just see if we can get back to the boat. You should make an item that lets you swim for longer. But then it probably would be exploited. Alright, we need to go southeast. Feels good when you um, figure stuff out on your own and not use walkthroughs. Who put that there, anyways? Southeast, not southwest.
What did it say? I needed three more in order to get a full heart piece. Oh, I just need one more. Maybe I'll get one. I've never collected heart containers in this game. The only game I've really ever done that was Ocarina of Time. And now that I think about it, one of the few games that I've ever actually tried to collect stuff was Ocarina of Time. I'd say that game really does make you want to collect. Like the sculptulas and the heart pieces and um, find everything. I think because it's more walk oriented. I would say I'm less inclined to try and find stuff in this boat than if I were to uh, just walk to it. It just feels more... Um, I feel more comfortable with the idea of walking. I don't even like the ocean, honestly. I like it in this game, but the ocean in actuality like terrifies me these creatures you run into when you're on the seas also freaks me out not anymore but you know it used to is it really just beaming like that the triforce piece yeah we are right on it don't even care about these ships hitting us. Got it. Easy. Now let's get out of here. Alright, that shouldn't be too hard. This one was the easiest one of them all. I instantly stopped right where I needed to. East, straight east. I kind of do feel like playing Ocarina of Time now that I'm thinking about it. Um, trying to collect all that stuff. Comment below if you want me to play it. I tried playing it before for the channel because I actually do have an N64. Like, that's one of the few consoles I still own that I can claim is 100% my console. And I do still have uh, my Legend of Zelda copy ever since I was a kid. I had other games too, but they've gotten stolen or lost. I remember I had um, an ex-girlfriend that really wanted to play Paper Mario, and I let her borrow it, and then we broke up, and then I forgot that I let her have it, but I remembered like two weeks later or something, and she didn't want to talk to me. Um, so I called her just to ask for it, and she was very like... Like, I don't want to talk to you or whatever, but um, I was like, I just want my game back, you know, that's a good game. And I feel like she was being very defensive and not wanting to talk to me because I later found out that she sold it. And my a couple other games, I let her borrow like, um, what was it? And these sharks are just circling me. I let her borrow... Uh, Mario 64, 
some other games that I liked that I wish I didn't let her borrow, but whatever. People always be stealing shit or just selling what they what's not theirs. Okay, so now we need to get the last Triforce piece. I know it needs to be night. I'm going to look it up. I have time. Let's look this up. Yeah, I think Paper Mario for the N64 goes for quite a bit too. I don't remember. I know the Thousand Year Door is probably the most expensive one. I used to have that, but I sold it. I actually sold that one. Maybe there will be a port soon, or maybe there is a port. Because I do really like that game as well. That is one of my favorite Mario games. There's a lot of games I need to get, but I definitely don't have the money or time to get them, really. Maybe uh, in the future. But yeah, I still have Ocarina of Time. I definitely could play that for the channel if you guys want me to hook up my N64. But I do feel like maybe I shouldn't do the N64. I should probably get the Master Quest that's for the GameCube. Because I still have my Wii. But the resolution would be, wouldn't be as good, would it? I wonder how to get the best resolution would be without emulation. I don't think there's any port for the Wii U. Okay, anyways. Um, let's see. Took forever for my internet to load. Ghost Ship, Wind Waker, oh is it different for the HD one? The Ghost Ship is a haunted vessel the cruise, that cruises the Wind Waker ocean according to the phases of the moon. Oh wait, there's a, there's a Ghost Ship chart, isn't there? No, I don't have it. What is that Iron Beetle guy? I should go to him, actually. I'll look this up real quick, but first... I want to go to the Iron Beetle. I'll read this while I'm going there. Because I feel like he has something. I don't know what the Iron Beetle is, but... I don't know, I'm calling him the Iron Beetle. Alright. Crescent Moon Isle during full moon. Yeah, I think that's where you need to be. Let's go west. Um, I'm probably going to date this episode by saying this, but, um, I saw a Nintendo Direct last night, and I saw, um, Link's Awakening is coming for the Switch, and that game looks so fucking cute, like, I really want to get that game, but I probably won't. I haven't bought, like, a game for myself in, like, since the last game I bought for myself was this game, actually. But I would like to get that. I've never beaten Link's Awakening either though, so I do feel like I do need to beat that. But I have it too, actually. I have um, my old Game Boy and the games for it, and that's one of the games, but I've never beaten it. I'm always so bad at um, playing and finishing Game Boy games. The only ones I've really ever done was Pokemon. But that's just because it's Pokemon, you know? Okay, so we're here for a reason. I'm trying to find the beetle guy. Yeah, I feel like I need to beat Link's, Link's Awakening for the Game Boy Color before I get that game, if I even get it. I should. 
I played um Link Between Worlds, which was fucking amazing. For the um what is it, the DS? 3DS? So I bet I will enjoy it, but um Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever do that though. I would like to, but nah, who knows. I never even play games anymore. This is the first time actually playing a game game in a while. Times have just changed. I don't really have the convenience of doing that. But maybe soon, now that I got, um... YouTube seems to be going okay, not the best, but it's okay. If I can stop getting my videos demonetized, maybe I could make some decent money. <laughs> and buy myself some time. I wonder how long it's been since the light in Windfall's lighthouse went dark. Wait, what? It was quite in it was quite a grand sight, I tell you. The way the ray of light shone out like a shaft <laughs> of gold through the cold darkness. I used to gaze at it with dear Gillian. Anyway, I bet if someone could shoot a powerful spark into the top of that lighthouse, it do I need the light arrows? Of course, that's just my intuition talking. Then again, you should never doubt a fish's intuition. That's really interesting. I've never done that. I should get the light arrows and remember that. Ooh, is that the shop? Is that the beetle shop? There it is. Stop for me, please. What the hell? Are you not? Oh, it like ran into me. Like it wasn't going to stop. All right, let's go. Well, this is just great. I want everything you have. <clears throat> You're so lucky to meet me at this time. The shop will close in just seven more days. I'm having a clearance sale. Are you serious? That's not true, right? It wouldn't just close in seven days. Alright, we got all four. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm happy. Or you're happy, I'm happy, we're all happy. <laughs> yeah, let's just dump all our money. We don't need it anymore. Except for the auction, but whatever. Oh, thank you very much. You're happy. You got nothing now. Seven days? Could I have passed seven days with the Song of Passing? It's interesting. Oh, we got it. What's on this island, anyways? Something I can do. Let's do it. Yeah, um... I do think that is one of my goals, though, actually. To be able to... By myself, plenty of time, so I can just relax and um, probably just play a bunch of games. A bunch of games that I didn't have time for in the past. A bunch of games that are coming out. I actually want to spend a lot of time playing like uh, World of Warcraft Classic. That's coming out in um, Jesus. <laughs> that is, uh, I should have been dead if Link wasn't a cartoon. That's coming out, I think, in 2020. I really just want to sink a lot of my time into something like that. I don't know. It just seems fun. But it's definitely something I can't do with my current state. But one day, I would like to just waste, I don't know, maybe like a year playing. That'd be fun. That's my goal. <laughs> To figure out how I can make enough money or buy myself enough time to waste my time doing nothing, really. <laughs> Wasted on games. To reach Western Fairy Island Head. What? Why would... Why would I even need to know that? Wait, have I been to West Fairy? I feel like I have. Wait, what is this? What the fuck? Wait. Boop, boop. 
Oh my god. I kind of want to get the um, boomerang, but I don't feel like it'll be as effective. Okay, now it's probably effective. Damn, some of them dropping, um, looks like very useful stuff. Yeah, these bats are fucking packing. I feel kind of bad. I mean, they're probably evil bats, but I'm literally just wiping out their entire, like, colony. Their little community that they had going on. But, I mean, they did try to attack me, so... If they just kept asleep, then we could have totally avoided this situation, so... Well, another one of those we don't need. Yeah, there's definitely a fourth bottle we can get. All right. All of these other ones are just the same. Um, we were trying to figure out where the boat is. It's um, Crescent Moon Island during full moon. Oh, there's several. Diamond Steep Isle. When part of the right moon is missing. Bomb Isle. I know that there's like a chart you can just get. The ghost ship haunts several isles of the Great Sea during the night. It appears at different locations depending on the current state of the moon. The ship's doomed to sail the Great Sea until freed from its curse. Only the one holding the ghost ship chart. Yes, hidden on Diamond Steep Isle can enter, so I can't even get in, exactly. Diamond Steep Isle. Miruku's Oasis, that's great. Uh, okay, I haven't even found that. Actually, I should probably go west because of what this sign actually told me, which is very useful. To reach Western Fairy Isle, head west. I want to see what that fairy will give me. And then we'll go to Diamond Steep Island. You can enter according to Lenzo, the sailor who made the ghost ship chart was following the vessel across all of its destinations, drawing a map of its movement when the map was done. He suddenly died. Oh my god. What the hell? Where did you, where do you learn about this? In order to free the ship from its course, Link must defeat a wise robe and two poes within. However, the wise robe is able to summon Oh wait, let's get let's get sailing. Is it wise robe or whiz robe? I don't know. Is able to summon Redeads and Stalfos into the battle. After defeating all the enemies, Link will be able to climb up a ladder leading to the treasure chart, which contains... Yes. Oh, it's a treasure chart, but in Wind Waker HD, it's a Triforce shard. After Link clicks Triforce shard and hidden within, the ghost ship will stop roaming the seas and disappear entirely. I kind of want to know about Lenzo, though. Who is Lenzo? Ooh, let's go there. Oh, he's Lenzo. Wait, isn't he the Picto guy? Lenzo is a character in The Wind Waker. Oh, wait, where's the fish? Oh, um, look at the time, actually. I should stop. Yeah, we'll continue the next one, and I'll read about Lenzo for anyone who wants to know. Because <laughs> I actually really want to know. This guy is apparently dead. Dead man. We're going to read about a dead man. It's 
going to be a story time with Miruku. Alright, actually, I'm going to stop now. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Okay, welcome back. Anybody who uh, is coming from the previous part, we actually wanted to learn some information about this game, some lore. We we're going to talk about Lenzo. Uh, but let's, we're going to get the West Fairy. Whatever they have to offer first. Western Fairy Island, yeah. Okay, so Lenzo. I really want to know about this guy. He's apparently dead. And he was the one who created the chart. I heard the big, I heard the bird people who live on Dragon Roost Isle east of here have invented an incredibly useful device. Wait, are you serious? You're talking to me about the grappling hook? I heard you can throw that thing at monsters and use it to grab treasure. Okay, I know that. Oh, and have you seen those imp-like creatures called Boko Bokoblins that hang out on the lookout platforms? At sea and stare through their telescopes. I heard those guys keep joy. Well, I don't need joy pendants. Um, yeah, but Lenzo was the guy who in who um, charted the ghost ship. He charted it, followed its course, and made a map that we need to get, or a chart that we need to get. But then he suddenly died after he completed charting it. And that's what is so interesting, is why would you die after you, you know finished figuring out where this ship goes. Um, let's first... Do this. Okay, so let's see, Lenzo. In the early days, Lenzo sailed through the Great Sea, taking pictures of mystical beings and strange sights. But he has now settled on Windfall Island. Yeah, he seems like he's still alive. I swear you can talk to this guy. Young Waker of the Winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. I mean, I see a picture of him and he has a Picto box and like a weird little fan. And he has yellow and blue on and a weird hat. What am I going to get? Ooh, I just was talking about how I need more arrows. The fairy and the fountain shall ease. Yeah, we know. Okay, Lenzo has been studying pictographs and everything about them ever since he was young. When Link first met him, Lenzo is reluctant to trust him due to the fact that one of his picto boxes was stolen from him. Um, let's. We need to go to an island. We need to go to. Well, what island was it? We need to actually go back because we were trying to find the ghost ship. Diamond Steep Island. We need to go there first. Show me where it's at. It's not even showing me the location. Diamond steep. I'm like on a, on a wiki and it's not showing me. Oh, okay. It's located in the Great Sea Northwest of Outset Island. So, Northwest. So, it's like here, probably. Alright, so his Picto box was stolen. So prompts the young hero to leave. We're talking about Lenzo. 
When Link shows him the Picto box he found, the Pictograph Master urges him to look around his gallery upstairs and even asks him to become his research assistant to develop a box with an incredibly pictography capabilities. That's not what we want to know. Um, are we going northwest? No, we're not. After Link helps him with his research material, Lenzo tells him that he's been researching pictographs with color. Okay, this isn't what I want to know. Lenzo also sells legendary pictographs when you can buy 50 rupees. Okay. Lenzo's Japanese name is Genzo is a pun on the Japanese word for film developing Genzo. Likewise, his English name is a reference to the camera lens. His Japanese title also refers to Magic Lantern, an early Im image projector. Wait, what is going on? It seems like he's completely healthy and fine, and he researches pictographs did someone make that up then? Because the reason we were reading about Lenzo was because he supposedly died. This foul ship, reviled in mist and fading in and out of sight, like something from another world, yes, my young sir. It is none other than the ghost ship. Okay, hold on. We've been sailing quite a bit. I read a quote from Lenzo just then that he's talked about the ghost ship, but when? He seems to be so obsessed with his um, studies, so into his pictograph studies that I don't see why he would chart all over the place for a ghost ship. Oh, small fry, I've heard it. You want information? Diamond Steep Island. Perfect. I feel like I should get that bottom corner too, just because we're right there. If you see the treasure that's hidden or that isle's. If you see the treasure that's hidden on that island there. The thing that vanishes as soon as you get near it, it won't vanish anymore. You know it. I'm talking about it. That thing that appears on night when a wee bit of the right half of the moon is missing. Don't you know what I'm talking about? It. Okay. He's talking about it. I don't know why he's so afraid to tell me what it is. The ghost ship, we know. We're all aware. We're all adults here, I think. I feel like I gotta Google this Lenzo situation because the art, the part that I'm reading right now, doesn't tell me anything about Lenzo's travels for the ghost ship. It just talks about his um, studies in pictography. One second. Lenzo Ghost Ship Wind Waker. Oh, I'm a I'm stupid. Rereading the ghost ship thing, it doesn't say Lenzo is the one. It says he talks about a sailor. According to Lenzo, the sailor who made the ghost ship chart was following yeah. Well, we just learned about a pictograph guy 
and not about a sailor, a unknown sailor. Didn't really care about Lenzo at all then. Oh well. Next time I need to be reading exactly what it uh exactly what it is saying. Pay attention to what I'm reading. Reading comprehension. Oh wait, can I just use the grappling hook and just like cheese it? I realize why I made such a mistake with Lenzo. I think because the way I read it and not like the way that it was written, it says, wait, no, there's nothing to do here. Got a joy pendant. It says, according to Lenzo, the sailor who made the ghost chart. The way I read it, I thought Lenzo was the sailor. Like this is a tale Lenzo was telling. Like um, when it says, according to Lenzo, the sailor. I thought it was giving a description for who Lenzo is, saying Lenzo is the sailor. Oh, whatever. Anyways, we need to get this last piece. That's what's important right now. If I get too caught up in this whole Lenzo situation, um... I'm not going to get anything done. <laughs> I can talk about Lenzo for like a whole episode. Alright, did I already go in here? Nope, I didn't. Perfect. Why do these guys want to grab pots so much? Like, they're so quick to grab a pot before they grab Link. It's like they're afraid. Yet, if you have a Makar or a Medley with you, they'll snatch them up real quick. That color is kind of different. Well, I guess all of them are. Must be an indication of where you've come from and where you haven't gone yet. Throwing pots? What is this? You really think that pot's gonna kill me? Let's go in here. This big ass maze. Oh, wait. Oh, it's already lit. I thought that light wasn't lit up, or that, um, that lamp. Man, I keep messing up. I am terrible. Alright, I think it was this one to the right. I actually found a game for my phone that I um, wanted to play. Wait, what's down there? Nothing. I've been looking. I've been stressing out for like no reason. Damn it. I guess we know which one's the right one. I've been stressing out for no reason over which game to play, what to do with my phone when I have downtime. Because um, I don't want to spend time on my phone doing something that's going to like make me tired or make me not want to, you know, I don't want to use my phone for to be productive. I want to just relax. And I've uninstalled like so many games. I've been trying to figure out something that's just, uh, oh wait, I could climb on there. Oh, there's no need to though. 
find something that's just like a time sink that will just take take whatever I'm doing and I could just relax and not think about stuff. Oh, you finally grabbed me. But a bunch of games are like, you know, they want you to pay money. Uh, they want you to log in daily. They want you to do certain things. There's like time. Um, certain time frames to do stuff. And it's just like it, it causes you. It causes it to be an obligation. And it causes you to think like you have to continuously play the game. I wanted something I could just go on and not worry too much about what I'm going to when I'm going to log in or when I'm going to play the game. And, um, yeah, I've been playing a couple different games. I played something called, I think, like, Dungeon Cards. I tried something called, um... Shit, what was it called? I uninstalled it. I was thinking about playing some, like, rail shooters, other stuff. Or Bullet Hells. Where's the ghostly chart? But all of them just weren't really, I don't know, it wasn't as polished as like Fire Emblem Heroes, the game that I was playing before. Um, but eventually I just downloaded this very simple game. Oh, it was um, Reversi. I was trying to play like Reversi. I was trying to play some basic games, but I downloaded the most simplest game that I really was able to just play and have I don't know I don't know why it's so fun it's like the most simplest thing it's uh, 2048 there's like a there's a version that a developer made on the app store where you don't have to there's no ads it's just you know no interruptions and um, I haven't beaten it yet it's surprisingly difficult but it's not even really a game game, it's just um, a puzzle. A big math puzzle. Yeah. Because sometimes, like, I have to go to, like, laundry mats, or I have to go to places where I have to sit around for a while. Laundry mat, I'm usually there for, like, over an hour. And I need something to do, but I don't really want to work, like, study. Because, you know, I'm already doing, you know, I'm already doing laundry, and if I study, I'm just going to get tired and I have to finish what I'm doing whatever I'm talking too much but yeah besides that I'm probably just gonna use fucking the 4chan app the Mimi app which I I feel like 4chan isn't even that great anymore it's like a lot of just the same repetitive stuff the boards that you go on I'm pretty sure you know it was never that great but it just feels like there's not really any more things like you go on there and you know what, what you'll expect. Wow, I'm out of bait. Is there a beetle chart nearby? You know what to expect when you go there. And you just feel like disappointed each time when you go. That's kind of what it feels like. East is the closest beetle chart. But I could just teleport there. Oh yeah, because I went to the Iron Beetle. And I felt like I went there to a beetle. But no, he just sells specific items. I'm going to get one pair. I don't think I need it. But I'm going to just get all, all bait. And then I should have a silver membership too, I think. But yeah, um, all that rambling I was doing. I basically just downloaded a game called 2048 and um, it lets me not think about things, think about what's going on and it gives me time to space out and um, yeah, I enjoy it. Oh, six more points. See if we can get there. Let's 
buy one of these. And hopefully we have more space to get the last one of these. We saved up 30 points, you earned a silver membership. We give a luxurious gift to all our silver members. It's the least we could do. I'll send it to you shortly. It should be arriving at a post box near you any day. Promise me you'll wait anxiously for it. Next, try our gold membership. You have 31 points, 60 points. What do you get for gold? All right, we're full, but I do wonder if he'll take any more. No, no, I can't sell anything to him. Bye. I wonder if the um, Orca will take any more crests. Let's go check them out first. And then we'll go west. His name Orca, Orca, Okra, one of the two. Do you uh, do you want this? I have nothing left to teach you. I am certain you will save your sister Ario and return with her to outset. Okay. I have so many belts though. What can I do with all my belts? And nothing's in the post office yet. Post box. Wait. Let's go to... No, she won't. She'll only give me one. Right? I don't really want to waste time trying to figure it out, but... um, I have a feeling she won't give me more. I really want more though. I want all of my bottles except one to have the soup. Miruku, if you run out, yep, we know. Nope. Lame. Are we already going west? Oh, let's go west. I do wonder who are the people who watch my channel and what other content they watch i feel like i don't really even keep up too much with what's going on in youtube i actually watch so many i'm one of those people who watches <laughs> who watches twitch streamers on youtube you know those people who steal well not steal take <laughs> they take twitch streamers content i mean i did it for one video and they post it on a uh, random channel and that's all they are their highlight channels I literally just watch those channels. Like I watch a lot of Vine Sauce, a lot of um, I watch Asma Gold. I watch Etika. I watch. I used to watch Ice Poseidon. Um, I used to watch Tyler One a lot. I don't know what it is, but I don't want to go to Twitch and try to f tune in right when they're live streaming. I just feel like I don't have the convenience of being able to do that whenever and I don't want to get twitch on my phone and just use up my 4g to watch their streams and it's so much easier just to have somebody who uploaded the highlight and they usually like watching someone's highlight um, they usually cut out all the fat or all the unnecessary parts even though I like those parts it's nice to see what is that oh that's those guys it's just nice to see the, to be able to see the stream without worrying about having to tune in. 
The only thing that I would say is a little bit inconvenient is some of the highlight channels don't post the chats. Even though I don't really need to read the chats, it's nice to see what people were saying in the chat. And I think one of the main ones is like Vinny has his, he uploads his own stuff, but he doesn't upload the chats on purpose or just to uh, keep it more exclusive like that. But that's the only thing I'm really missing out if I watch highlight channels is what was going on in the chat. On the aisle due east of here lives an old man who was once a master of sword. Wait, what? Why are you telling me about Orca? I want to know about this island. What's here? Oh, looks like these guys are trying to come at me. How do I get up here? It's a big wall. Oh, other side. Oh, right? All the way down there? Yeah, even other other side. Okay. What the fuck? Wait, is this golf? Wait, is this golf? What is this? This is golf. This is kind of cool. I never, I don't think I've ever done this. Is it gonna go in? No. It's in. Good old golf. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But yeah, like I was saying, I do wonder if anybody who watches my channel keeps up with like current events or like actual popular YouTubers. Like um, I used to watch a lot of PewDiePie, but I don't know. I feel like I slowly stopped. Wait, can I? No, I can't. I'm like stuck. I slowly stopped just because uh, I don't know. I feel like it just gets to be a little too much. The energy is a little too high. I think that's why I like watching streamers, because it just seems a little bit more... A bit more like they're themselves, even though they're not all like that. I feel like I would like to stream as well, but... Um, I don't have the capabilities like I've tried streaming on my laptop there's like footage if you go on my channel and it's it's terrible my laptop can't handle it what the hell <laughs> this is not easy but I do like this what is this it's like it's fun oh oh it's in it's in I did it that was something I actually did get on my phone though um I got this golf game. It's called like I think it's called Mono Golf. It's very simplistic and it was fun, but it's just like I didn't really like having to be very precise with the aiming. It's a little stressful. So beautiful, incredibly beautiful. I'm glad I bought this kaleidoscope. What the hell? I guess I'll look through there. Wait. Yeah, there's a chest there. And there's a hole here. What is he looking at, though? I swear, he's never looking at anything. I do this. And look at it with him, and I see nothing. Like, you're not looking at anything. You're a fraud. <laughs> you're full of it. There's nothing there, unless you're talking about the clouds. Oh, shit. Let's fuck these people up with my new bow. Oh, that looks terrifying. 
Yeah, I used to keep up and I used to watch a lot of popular YouTubers. I used to watch a lot of news channels, a lot of drama channels. But I don't know, it just, all that shit starts to get repetitive and starts to just become numb. Like, this YouTuber did this, that YouTuber did that, like, oh, oh no, their career is over, blah, 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 like, who cares? Like, who really cares? You're only watching it just to make yourself feel better or to make it, like, I don't know, just a distraction, which is fine, but, like, I don't really give a crap what this YouTuber did and what controversies are out there. There are some YouTubers that I do watch that are still big, that I like. Um, Shane Dawson, I do like him. I think he's still pretty good. Not all the time, but I do enjoy like his videos where he's talking about like actual events and stuff like that. And uh, the story behind it, or the history and stuff. I guess I care more about events and historical things than um, like very specific YouTube celebrities. What is this? Horseshoe Isle? Just had a treasure chart. Um, we we're trying to get to that ghost ship. And it should appear at night, I believe. Where's that? There it is. Yeah, if we change the cycle to night. There's like a ball in the sky. What is that? Top right. Now let's open the chart. Shit. It's on the sperm island. <laughs> okay. Uh, we just have to figure out what island that is. What island looks like a sperm? Uh, Bomb Island. Let's get there. Oh, messing up. <laughs> um, somewhere over there. It's either to the right or to the bottom right. Oh, look at the time. Um, we'll stop and then we'll get to the ghost ship right after. Uh, in the next part, yeah. Let's look at the chart though, real quick. I want to make sure I'm going the right way. Southeast. Alright, um, we'll get there in the next one and we'll get the final piece and be that much closer to completing the game or just beating the game not completing it thanks for watching guys i'll catch you in the next one bye hey i'm not sure um what part this is <laughs> i've been recording so many parts today it's insane I normally just try to do like three each time I could sit down and record some gameplay, but I don't know how many parts I've recorded today, like six or something. I'm on a roll, whatever it is, whatever the reason, I just want to play some more. Maybe I just want to finish this Triforce Gathering quest, but this is it. We just got to get to the ghost ship and we should be good. We got the ghost chart. We got the sperm island, and we got the night, and the moon, which is half, or something. The moon is right, the night is right. Shit, am I going? Okay. Where's that big ship? Is that the ship? 
No. Yeah, it is. I see it. It's kind of scary, honestly. I think I was afraid when I was a kid when I saw this. Ghost ship. But the other th the other thing is like I've been playing this whole playthrough. I haven't seen the ghost ship once. And I don't know if that's just luck. But I remember seeing this so much when I used to play the GameCube version. It used to freak me out. Oh, I don't remember this. Oh, wait, no, I do. I remember now. Let's get... Let's get this. No. This. 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 Oh, shit. Let's burn him. Oh, you guys hear that? That is my uh, chinchilla. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there is like some, um, what is it, like yelling and some noise. I think that usually means he's having a nightmare. Is not good. What the hell? How is there coins on the ground? Yeah, I have a um as far as pets go, I have a chinchilla and I have a turtle. And the turtle I got from this boy that was at a farm. I went to uh, in high school. I went to go volunteer for um, extra credit. Even though I didn't need it, I just wanted to have like an A in the class, I think. And once the volunteer work was over, I got like a free t-shirt, so that was also something cool. But I was just hanging out and trying to um, like wait and make sure, because I think you get free food and stuff. I was trying to make sure I did everything and got the free food. <laughs> I was hungry. And when I was waiting, there was like this big gathering where people buy seeds and plants and stuff. And there was this kid in the corner with a box and the turtle was in it. And like, I was there for a while. And after a while, eventually the, um, what the fuck? Oh yeah, the ghost ship's leaving. After a while, the everybody was leaving. Oh, I did it! Look at that. Well done, Miraku. With the shard, you have collected. The Triforce of Courage is now complete at last. We must make for Hyrule quickly. Okay. We need to go to the Tower of the Gods. Um, yeah, everyone was leaving uh, after they bought their seeds or whatever, and the kid was still there, and he looked really sad. Um, and some people walked up and were talking to him, and then I was nearby, and he was saying, like, he has to get rid of the turtle because he can't take care of anymore, I think, because the turtle can give him, like, salmonella disease or something, whatever the turtle can give you. And he couldn't have it, he was too young or something. And no one wanted it. And he said he would have to, um, I think, like, leave it in, um, leave it somewhere. It just sounded like he was going to put it in the grass and let it go into the swamp. Because there was, like, um, a bunch of puddles and stuff near the farm. And I thought, like, oh no, it's probably going to die that way. And I uh, asked him how much it was, and he said like 20 bucks. And it looked old, so I thought it wouldn't last very long, you know. So I was like, yeah, sure, I get a turtle. I think I had a turtle when I was younger. Well done, Mirakur. You must show the Triforce piece you have assembled to the gods. But yeah, I've had this turtle. This old-looking turtle that I got from this kid at a farm. I've had it for like... 
Wait, I'm showing it to the gods. I'm showing it to this temple. And then they're giving me the portal. Cool. What the hell? Oh. What is this? There on your hand, the Triforce Peace now dwells within you. Is it the Triforce of Courage? Proof that you are indeed the true hero? You have controlled the wind and crossed the seas, and here, near the end of your quest, the power of the gods has been bestowed upon you. Surely from this moment on, you shall be known as the hero of winds. I guess that's what I should call him, huh? Miruku, hero of winds. Go forth. To Hyrule. To Zelda's side. Alright, let's do this. But yeah, I've had this total, I think, for... I got it when I was in high school. I'm definitely not in high school anymore. I think I've probably had this turtle for about 10 years, honestly. And I don't know how old it is, but when I got it, it looked old, so... Oh god, somebody fucked up Link. Someone's definitely been here. But yeah, I have a very old turtle. I don't know how much longer it'll live. I don't know how old it is. I'm still taking care of it. I got a big giant bin. Got a bunch of stuff. What the fuck? Map. Okay. I just want to look at that through the telescope. I don't know why, but it's kind of uh, ominous. Okay, Zelda's still there. I thought she was taken. No, she's not there. Yeah, she's not there. You have deceived yourself. Did you think you'd be safe inside the castle? Foolish. Now that my power has been restored, there is no safe haven for you. I have taken your precious Zelda, and here you shall fall into eternal slumber. Oh god. Come on, Ganon. You think this is gonna be enough to stop me? Like, uh, you should dump, like, everything you got. Like, all the creatures in here. Oh, shit. They have, um... Yeah, they're just fucking each other up. They have capes on. I think these are the true Dark Nuts, right? Or something? Yeah, I'm just knocking them out. Done. Shit. These guys are actually pretty tough. Okay, should have dumped more of these. These must be your best soldiers or something. Oh, you see that, Ganon? You're just gonna be quiet now and <laughs> you're just gonna turn off your fire. You could just trap me, I guess, if you wanted to. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. I think just talking about my turtle. I have missed Chinchilla for a while too. Probably... Probably seven or eight years. And I think Chinchillas can live up to like 20 years or more, so... I'll be having these things for many years to come. Until I'm much older, at least. Barrier skip. I discovered it, guys. Look. I think there's a whole video on that, actually. Speed running. The barrier skip. Now we're actually in Hyrule. 
I need to get some water. My throat feels very dry. Okay. I wonder how this arrow could hurt these things, but not like a, um, a sword attack, you know? It's like Fire Emblem, where arrows hurt flying enemies, but um, they're way more effective than attacking them with anything else. Yeah, also, um, I was watching the Nintendo Direct, and I saw that they had, like, the new Fire Emblem game, um, three... What was it? Three heroes or something? I don't know. Um, the main-looking, like, artwork character looks really cool, but everything else, like, I was watching it, and they were adding all these different complexities and all these different things, and I don't know, like... It was just way too analytical, I think of a game. The last game that I can truly say, last Fire Emblem game I can truly say I enjoyed, was um, Fire Emblem Heroes. I enjoyed Fire Emblem Heroes so much, I played it twice, which I I never do for Fire Emblem games, but that was what really got me into it and wanted me to play Fire Emblem Heroes, was that one game. But I played, I also got the other ones, I got like Fates, or um, rebirth stuff and I don't know I just didn't really feel as much of a I don't know I just didn't feel like they really put as much as they put into making oh Jesus I just lost uh well I guess I didn't need it it just didn't feel as good something about awakening just felt so good like that's definitely my favorite Fire Emblem game and it sucks that it's not for a console because I really liked it. I like the whole idea of uh, Marth's daughter, Lucina. Now she's a playable character, of course, but she was really cool in the game. And the whole concept where people are coming from the past. And then there was like a new system where you can have kids. You can get married, have kids, and then have your kids come from the past or come from the future. And join you in battle and there's like all these different combinations it was just great i mean they probably have that in the new games but i don't know and the music too in awakening just so peaceful and um i really like the characters too my favorite character i think was uh setsuna one of the archers I don't know why, she had like such a deadpan face and she had this very like melodramatic attitude, but I really liked her. I really liked her character. character. Oh shit, that was close. Oh shit. Alright. Wait, is this. This isn't high enough, is it? No, it's definitely not high enough. Okay, there we go. I also do wonder if I'm just getting old. If I'm getting old and games aren't feeling as. As they used to feel for me. Oh wait, no, I'm just supposed to climb up to the top, aren't I? This is a trick. You can't fool me. Best boss in the game. <laughs> I don't know why this boss feels like the best boss. Oh wait, you can't even pull the tail? Oh no, you can. Alright. My favorite boss. 
I actually want to switch the um, position. I want to put it in the right trigger. Or the right button. Not trigger. What the fuck? Oh. Could he have hurt me like that? I felt like he was right on me with his claw. It was interesting. Oh. I wonder if I could fight him from up there, actually. I'm gonna try that. Look at this music, this remix. No! Well, I guess we're not gonna find that out. I got the Master Sword. This thing should die in like three swipes. Yeah. What did I just do? Did I do this one? No, I didn't. Oh, I did. That's weird. That picture, I guess they don't really tell you. Oh wow, look at him jump. He can jump. He's got some hops. Out my way. What is it? Oh, where is it? <clears throat> I don't see it, but it's somewhere. There it is. Nope, that's not right. Wait. That's gonna kill me. Oh shit, okay, so I'm supposed to go up there. I think, looks like it. No? Yeah, I can't get up there. I... I guess I just gotta go? I have a feeling this is gonna end terribly. Oh. You can go in between the winds. Okay, I guess that makes sense. I guess I never tried in my whole playthrough, or this playthrough. Well, now I... Oh.
What is this boss? The snake worm? Yep. The best uh, boss music in the game. Oh, this sounds cool. This sounds like some chip tune version. Where is it? There it is. Oh shit. Oh shit. Wrong order. Oh, it's not gonna do its, um... Fuck. Hey, it missed me. <laughs> oh, look at that. How lucky am I? Fuck! Never mind, I'm not lucky. Too many of those guys. I don't want to fight them, though. Fuck you. Had a really weird burp. Oh shit. Oh god. That was kind of terrifying. Alright, this is it. No? Not yet. Alright, this is it. Done. Let's see if we could figure out. So there's little things on these. Alright, so. I'm gonna get comfortable. I don't know how long I've been sitting in this spot. <laughs> see if I could just. There's no way to run past this without getting hurt. Oh, there is. I don't think there's anything I need over there, though. Alright, I need... a slime or something. No, I don't see anything. Yeah, I need something that will, uh... There it is.
What if I have this and then I get possessed? Pick it up. Damn it. wanted to get possessed and have um, this thing inside and see if it would make me um, run faster or something. But I guess you're not slowed down when you have it. Ooh, is that a fairy? Yeah, I'm good. I don't need it. Nope. Wrong way. Ooh. This thing is gonna... turn back to normal by the time I get back. Are you kidding me? No, no, what? Those fuckers, they did that on purpose. Fuck you. I don't even want to fight you. I ain't fighting you. You're too slow to even hurt me anyways. They fucking uh, jabated me. I'm not playing their games. I'm leaving. You guys can have fun down there. I'm out of here. Let's do this. Got him. They even stopped like halfway because they're like, he's killing too many. That is the best time to use that. And I'm not dizzy. Stop it. Yeah, look, that was like a second. They let me kill him for a second. I thought you could, um, if you were skilled enough, you could get more than you need to, but no, there's only a fixed amount they let you kill. Shame, shame. Did it. Most useful sword technique for that boss. Alright, I think I'm going to stop here though. For now, we'll, we'll return and probably finish this game. But I've been playing, I don't know how many hours. I need to stop. Thanks for watching, guys. This thing is almost over, and I'm not sure if I want to do some side stuff first. I do got to remember that, though. If I get the light arrows, there's something I could light up. It's at the, uh, it's at Windfall, I think. I want to do that. Unless I could light it up with the fire arrows, I don't know. Alright, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey guys, let's uh, finish this game. This might be the last part, but it might not, I'm not sure.
haven't played in a bit. Starting to feel better. Starting to get over being sick, but I think I might be getting sick again. So there's probably something I'm doing wrong. Wait. This isn't where we left off. Well, mm, yeah, we're in the middle, about to beat the final um, sub boss. Okay. I guess it doesn't really matter. Here we are. We need. Which one do we need? I feel like it's. Oh, wait, no. I think that is the indication that it's this one. That it's the top left. Space is empty. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah, this seems right, yeah. Listening to uh, old recordings, and I noticed that, like, I could hear um, tissues rustling in the back, so... When I'm trying to uh, use a tissue, I'm going to try to be a little bit away from the, from the mic. What's going on? Oh wait, no, I think I know. I just need to go like this. Wait. Oh. Oh well. Okay, I was worried that might be a dumb idea. Uh, looks like we need some uh, magic for this one, some decent amount of magic. going to be the moth. Um, I feel like the arrows would be best. Actually, like that. If it's a flying enemy. I'm actually surprised how much this uh, mic picks up the fact- oh, it's this thing! Oh, they even took away- <laughs> the fact that it's even- um, it's just a phone. Microphone. And it's not even a good phone, it's like a dirt cheap, like the discount phones. So I guess microphones are just getting better. Or I just don't know what sounds good. I feel like it sounds pretty good though. Oh, what? Oh, shit. He's trying to backflip out of there. Oh, well. This boss fight is by far the easiest because of the uh, new mechanic they added. Where you can be a uh, FPS link. Alright. 
Do I have... Oh, I doubt there's fairies, though. Not yet. There's definitely fairies at the end, so that's fine. Oh, I wonder if I could s swing all the way up to the top. Almost. Close enough. I feel like I'm just going to beat this game and not get a, a fast sale or anything. Although now that I think about it, it doesn't really feel like I even needed it. Because I got uh, fast travel, or I got the song, warp song, very fast. Figure out this puzzle. No. Okay, I got it. No, I don't... What? I don't need to talk to you. You're going to mess me up. Miruku, you must remember well the appearance of this room. The shape of the floor. The number of items hanging on the wall. Such things are keys to solving the riddle that lies ahead. No, it's not. I just need to know the candles. And I still do, I think. Wait, is it giving me the an it's giving me the answer. It's like <laughs> it's not even a puzzle. It's legit just pointing to which ones. It's like it feels like it's too hard to know what to do. It's like it's saying, "Oh, this might be too hard for you," but in the same time the boat saying like memorize everything from the floor to the ceiling. Oh, hey, what's up? How'd you get here? <laughs> I see. So this is the portal through which Ganon was able to seep into the unsuspecting world above. Miruku, we shall make use of the path that Ganon created for himself. If there is anything from the world above that you believe you need, then climb into the boat and enter the column of darkness. I don't think I need to, uh... Yeah, this is just a portal back. You don't need to do this. Yeah. This is just in case you want to do something else. I can't think of anything else I want to do right now. The only thing I want to do is the auction, but I don't even know how to do that. I'd have to look it up. I've done the auction like once in all of the times I've played this game. And then I, uh, I think I kept messing up. I need... Just to fight uh, Phantom Ganon. Nope.
Oh wait, what's that? The sword hits hilt of my servants who lurk deep in the darkness shall be the guidepost that point to me. Oh. I'm supposed to jump down here. Oh, and he's down. And he's down again. Shit. Too late. Okay, yeah, it's just one hit. It's only for the puzzle. I really like the way the sword looks though. It's really cool. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. That's the only downside to learning that technique is uh you can't not do it. You can't turn it off. Why'd the room change? It's very uh much uh, like some sort of oh okay. It's like a spider web or something. I want the sword. Oh yeah, there was something I could do with these. Um, oh no, I'm fine. Okay, yeah, there's something I could do at Windfall with this, I believe. I should actually go there and do that. Now that we're back. Oh, here he is. Damn! What he dodged it? Wait, what the hell was that? What if I pressed A? I kinda wanna see that. Shit. Wait, I have the light arrows. Why don't I just shoot him with that? Bop. I wanted to see what the A reaction would have done. If there's a new animation reaction, but I doubt it. Just for fun, let's go to Windfall. And, uh... Or wait, should I beat the game and then go to Windfall? No. Is 
What's that noise? It's very dark too. I wonder if I can get to the auction. I don't know where it is though. I should look it up. Just for fun. To see if I could get into at least one auction. The Windfall Auction is a minigame from Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Every night, Zunari rents out the first floor of the Hall of Wealth. Oh, hey, look, there's some mail. To hold the auction, which Link can participate in to win various prizes. Every night, six residents of Windfall will gather to the main hall to bid on an item. Okay, what do I got for mail? 10 rupees? What is this, from Tingle or something? Notice to silver membership holders. Thank you for your frequent patronage of Beetle Shop Ship. Since you have earned 30 points, you have been granted silver membership. All silver membership holders receive a special gift of one comp complimentary ID. It is valid at all Beetle Shop Ships, so bring it to the shop ship near you I look forward to your future patronage. What the hell do I do with that? Who knows what this is, but apparently you should take it to Beetle. Yeah, he's somewhere. He's right there. Yep. Oh. Hold your horses. Wait, can I shoot that? With the arrows too? Why is there so many identical, like, beetles? Beetle clones? Alright. Let's do this. You want to use your complimentary ID? Okay, here it goes. <laughs> what the hell? You are so great, incredible, fantastic. And there you go. Isn't it nice to be complimented once in a while? No, what the hell? Okay. Why does he have two identical- are those just arrows? I actually would like to sell him some stuff. Bye. I imagine the next time I get my goal. Bye. I want to sell you some stuff. Oh, I have to bring it to him. Next time I get my goal... I feel like he'll give me something way more valuable than compliments. Ooh, if you don't need your knight's crest, yeah. Ain't no one buying- ain't no one using these anymore. Just take them all. Oh wait, do I have more than- I'm laughing my way all the way to the bank, laughing at monsters. Yuck, 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 yuck. <laughs> oh, should I add one more? Yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> that sounds like some uh, like South Park esque laugh. If you don't need your joy pendants, all right, twenty each. Dumping all this stuff on him. He ain't got nothing to say about that. I feel like there might be something for the Golden Fetters, actually, now that I think about it. I feel like... There's someone who wants this. I feel like I could sell this other stuff, though. Since I'm going to the auction. Hopefully no one needs these. What's he gonna do with all this junk?
All right, let's try to get into an auction for once. There, no, there was something else I was supposed to do, actually. Um, oh, wait. Yeah, there's also something over here, too. That I can do. Now that I have this. Wait. That didn't work? Shit, I am fucking up. So let's switch it. Wait, what the hell? Can I not get on there? No? Oh, I don't know what to do. Yeah, I got some information from the fish that I could use something to light up. What was it? What was I lighting up on the island? Something. Okay, anyways, every night Zunai rents out the first hotel of the Hall of Wealth. Where is the Hall of Wealth? I know there's some very wealthy people here. That's not it. Okay, let's just click. There's a hyperlink to figure out where it is. Let's click on that. The Hall of Wealth, also known as the Auction House, is located from the Legend of Zelda in a two-story building located on the Fall Island at the beginning of the game. Two-story building. That's the teacher. That's the picto guy. That's the cafe. Is it in here? This door looks pretty wealthy. Oh, it is. Well now, good evening. Yes, yes. I rented out the first floor of this mansion in order to run a nightly auction. And actually, tonight's auction is about to begin. Oh dear me, it is ever. Is it ever? <laughs> now it is indeed an auction, but I like to describe it in more simpler terms. It is a competition of the very highest order. Oh yes, it is a competition to see who can get the item that is being auctioned. Can you outbid everyone else? Do you have the courage and the fundage? Oh, the drama. Ah, but what's this? Well, dear me, do I detect a hint of curiosity? I believe I do. Fortunately, we welcome bidders of all ages, both kids and adults. Yes, so tell me, would you like to participate in the auction? Absolutely. Really, dear me? Really? Now you are completely fine with me not explaining the auction to you? I am correct in this assumption. I think I know what to do. All right, let's speed things up. Well then, let's begin immediately. It's no time to dwaddle. The auction is afoot on your toes, on your toes. Who the hell are these people? I know that guy. Some of these guys look sketchy. Yes, yes, yes. First, let me thank all of you bargain-loving people for joining us this evening. Dear me, what a turnout. The auction is about to begin, yes. What do you suppose will pop up as our item of the evening? Oh dear, hold on. I gotta switch back. Alright. Oh dear me, I'm so excited. I can't stop sniffling. The calm before the auction storm always makes my nose run. Hey, my nose is running too. <laughs> Let's get to it. This evening our glorious auction item is this. Oh cool, perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. The only thing I wanted. A fabulous swift sail. Let's just win this then. Oh well, my dear, what a prize. At last, the suspense is over. But all drama aside, you should know it is extremely rare to even get a chance to own a fabulous item like this. What a precious 
It is precious, quite dear, very valuable. Yes, yes, yes. Listen well, for I do not lie. Let the auction begin. The bidding is at 100 rupees. I'm pretty sure I have to bid and begin. I'm pretty sure I have to bid at the very end. Yes, yes, yes. Our current top bidder is the worthy gummy. The bid is 103 rupees. Do you do I hear another bid? Come on, my dear. People let loose, let loose. 106 rupees. Look at Link. <laughs> what are you guys going to do with the swift sail? Come on, you don't have a sailboat. Or do you? I haven't seen one on the island. You guys are just going to like sell it on eBay. Yes, yes, yes. Our action top bidder is the... Yeah, we know. Let loose, let loose. Link's just getting more upset, it looks like. I think they're gonna announce the time when it's like close to the end. I'll just hold off. All right, come on, guys. Stop bidding so low. Look at Lake's face. He's like, "Are you kidding me? What's with these low ball prices?" I got a bunch of money. I wonder how much money Link has compared to these people. Okay, time is running out, dear friends. I'm not sure if there's another announcement. Actually, I don't want to lose this. So if I can cheaply pause it. I just want to make sure I don't want to have to get back in or come back the next day or whatever. Link can bid 99 rupees at any time. Wait, to automatically claim the prize if Link is low on rupees. Wait, what? The more money he bid he bids over the preceding bid will affect the other bidders and disable them from bidding for a designated amount of time. The more he bids, the longer the others will be sh too shocked to challenge him. If at the end of the auction, Link has the highest bid, he will receive the prize. Link can bid 99 rupees at any time to automatically claim the prize. Okay, so let's do that. Let's just fuck over everybody. Because I'm tired of their shit. Link is tired of their shit. We're all tired of their shit. Stop it. Get fucked. I'm a high roller. <laughs> oh, there we go. This is incredible. I never thought it was possible, but the bid has reached the ceiling for this item. No higher bids can be accepted, dear me. But there's a max bid. Oh, and he's done. He just wants to collect that money. Here we go. Tonight's fabulous swift sale goes to Miruku for the price of 999 rupees. Dear me, let's just say congratulations. Boom. All y'all just got fucking done in by a kid. You got the swift sale. Thanks to expert, expert sale making craftsmanship, your sale can now sell faster than ever. And what's better, whenever you use it, a fabu a favorable wind always will be at your back. Oh shit. No need to manually change wind directions. Voyaging has never been more efficient. That's awesome. My dear, how incredible that such a youngster Walked away with the prize. I've never seen such a fat wallet. <laughs> that kid was a bidding machine right up at the end. But now then on to business. For you lucky ones out there, and yes, yes, also for you not so lucky ones, let me say thank you for your participation. I must bring tonight's auction to an end. Dear me, such excitement. Dear people, thank you very much. I wonder what they got to say. Young man, you shouldn't be so loose with your wallet. I mean, you must have gone through a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to earn that kind of cash. It's true. Kid, well done, I guess. This guy. This guy really wanted it right here. The key to winning the auction is to be 
right in the thick of all the bidding. Be aggressive, it's the only way. For example, try upping the bid by more than just a few rupees. You need pretty deep pockets, of course, but if you play it right, your move may just be such a mental shock to the other bidders that they don't know what to do. If you manage to shock them, they won't be able to bid until they snap out of it. Okay, you're just teaching me. I just want you to be amazed by my incredible wallet. You little darling, could I adopt you? What the hell? How much money do you have to adopt Link? Young man, you shouldn't be- Oh, I already talked to her. Just look at how young this kid is. The way he handles his money is so reckless. Young sir, you are my hero tonight. What the hell? Well, honestly, where on that tiny body could he be hiding all that cash? Oh, let's mess with these now. Since that guy's not there to charge me, I could just... Smash him on the people. Alright, and I'm out of here. Oh, wait. Oh, I guess not. One last thing I wanted to do on this island, though. I wanted to shoot... I wanted to light up the lighthouse. I believe that's what it was. If I can do that, or if that's correct. I don't even know anymore now. Damn, I should have got that swift sail sooner. I didn't know. What the hell? Yo, hold up. What's a kid like you doing out at a time like this? I gotta take a look at the heavens, too. In that case, you'll get a better view from over here. What the fuck? Oh, is that where I'm supposed to shoot? No? That's cool. Um, I didn't know that it was, uh... Gonna... Whoa, what the hell? Hey, it's another fine moon tonight. Say, did you know? Like the human heart, the shape of the moon changes with time. Every night, it becomes just a little bit different. Okay, is that all you wanted to tell me? It looks like a uh, slice of uh, orange. Um, I didn't know you didn't need the Wind Waker to use it. You don't have to change directions, that's what I was going to say. Which is really useful, it saves time. So I need to light this thing up. I think. I'm gonna look it up. Light arrows, wind, fall. Or, yeah, let's see. Actually, I'll do that in the next part. I didn't realize what time it was. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Surprised I got to the auction. I didn't think I'd do that, so. It's, uh. It's perfect. Maybe the next part will be the end. Uh. But we'll just have to find out until then. Alright, see ya. Bye.